So hi, um, we're here in uh, Meso Safety in Italy. It's the headquarters in Italy of Ocean Reef Group. And we wanted to explain some of the innovations that we put together um, regarding the COVID-19 emergency. You may have seen articles and things like that, like that but we would like to go more in depth with uh, the different parts. It's not so easy to understand some of these things. So hopefully this video is gonna help. All the information is anyway on the COVID-19 page on our website, oceanreefgroup.com slash COVID-19. Okay, so what did we do? First thing we did is we um, filed for a patent in uh, the beginning of March uh, for an idea that we had quite some time ago, which was to um, convert a full face snorkeling mask into a, an emergency, of course, the uh, personal protection equipment uh, product. So this is something that, of course, wouldn't be happening if it weren't an emergency. This is usually a snorkeling mask, definitely not a personal protection uh, equipment. But how are we able to do this? Well, we uh, have a background, more than 30 years in uh, personal protection equipment in gas masks. This is a safety uh, protection equipment gas mask. Uh, this is a uh, 400 uh, slash three. And we've been doing this since quite a while. So uh, we kind of know what we're doing. We designed a series actually of adapters. This is a prototype, one of the first prototypes that you can see here that can fit. This was um, 3D printed in, uh, in, uh, here in Genoa broken of course we've used it multiple times that could fit here on the um, on the top connector where the snorkel should go and that has a 40 millimeters one seventh um, inch standard connector for um, threading so for canister filters such as a p3 okay and of course again this comes from the gas mask industry. If you notice, this is the same kind of threading. Okay, so that's why we have this idea. Now there are plenty of filters out there. This is just one brand. This is our brand. There are plenty of P3 filters out there um, of other brands. There are also bayonet filters, uh, for example, 3M that have adapters that will uh, adapt those kind of filters into 40 millimeters standard um, threading filters. So you can find this on the internet. Uh, again, there's a shortage of everything, so we do understand that it might be not so easy to find it at the moment. Mm, these uh, 3D printed pieces, uh, the design is available on our website, on the page. You can find 11 different kinds of um, 3D printed files that you're free to download. There's a license agreement for non-profit use to use our patent. Um, and important, very important thing, once you do print this, and there's also a file dedicated to FDM printing, so more convenient for that kind of printers, of 3D printers, if you do print it, uh, keep in consideration that this adapter here which is printed again, is not complete. So we're missing two components, very important components. Now one is a mushroom valve. This is a mushroom valve silicone. All specs are on the website for this, measurements, technical design. There's also the 3D um, file for this as well. Now there are not many uh, 3D printers that are able to do something that uh, works mechanically as a silicone uh, injection molded products such as this one, but it's still available if you need to source it. We might not be able to reach you wherever you are in the world, so uh, it's available as well. This goes right here inside, okay? You need to pull it through and you make it so that it's nice and flush and snug, as you can see here. Now what it does, it creates, it uh, makes so that you're going to be able to inhale through this port, so through all three of the channels, um, without 
being able to then exhale back through the mask and inside the filter. We don't want that. We don't want to increase the dead, the dead air space from only the ornasal space to the whole mask, okay? That's not the only component that is missing here because the other component is a flat gasket of EPDM rubber. This is something that is a little bit more easy to source. This is die cut. Um, we have these and just like the mushroom bombs, we can send it out. We will have kits for these. Uh, so if you do 3D print, make sure you find alternative solutions for these two pieces or to source it from us, okay? Because you want it to um, work this way where you have a sealing of the filter once it's inserted. Now, the 3D printed product, of course, is now available.